Masculinity is defined as qualities associated with men. Twenty years ago, Susan Bordeaux created two definitions of men in her essay, Beauty Rediscovers the Male Body. She characterized men as either Arnold Schwarzenegger type rocks or more feminine Zac Efron leaners. Men were either bulging with intimidating muscles or had a feminine-like, delicate appearance. I decided to go on a search and discover if these distinctions remain in our society. Through the years, attitudes about manliness and what it means to be a man have been reshaped and altered. Different companies advertise their views of manliness through their product campaigns, and I was on a quest to discover what those views were. On my quest to examine masculinity, I decided to flip through the pages of Cosmopolitan. Suddenly, I was faced with the provocative gaze of a man in the Aqua Digio advertisement. It took me a while to be able to look away from his beautiful eyes and notice the rest of his perfectly crafted face. The man has the strong gaze of a rock, but his sexuality does not exam exemplify that of a macho man's. Unlike the usual rock, his gaze is not intimidating and threatening, but rather seductive and inviting. Women are drawn towards him, not frightened away from him. As I continued to look at the rest of the ad, I was struck by the man's succulent lips. His lips look like they are yearning for my tender kiss. I snapped out of my daydream and realized that Aquadigio shows that masculine men should not be afraid of their sexuality. They should be out to get a woman with their amorous lips and entrancing eyes. Bulging muscles are not necessary. The man's hair is perfectly combed back. The man in the ad clearly cares about his appearance. He did not just get up in the morning and haphazardly happen to look like this. It seems like he spent hours in front of the mirror to get his hair combed back just right, with every strand in its proper place. This is showing that one can be masculine while still caring about their appearance. It's not just women nowadays that take their time to get ready. The softness of his skin is also something to consider in what it means to be masculine. It looks like he spent a lot of time on his facial treatment. There's not a bump or stray hair anywhere on his facial landscape. This ad stretches Bordeaux's conceptualization of a rock because he is trying to seduce the viewer through his gaze, voluptuous lips, and meticulously crafted physical appearance, but also leans towards the leaner side because of the man's femininely crafted appearance and body position that is leaning on his arm. This ad says that masculinity is all in the sexual tension a man can create with a woman. Any woman who sees this ad immediately feels his sexy gaze examine her. To be masculine, one simply has to be seductive. In my continuous journey to define masculinity, I stumbled upon an ad for the Marines. Unlike the Aquadigio ad, where the man was trying to seduce us with his gaze, I immediately felt threatened and intimidated by the Marine's strong eye contact. His gaze makes him seem superior and holds an unquestionable dominance. If faced with this man in person, I would most likely cower in fear. I immediately found myself in a face-off with only half a man's face. As soon as you look at this man, you are engulfed in a battle. Who will look away first? In the end, the man in the ad will always win. Once I finally managed to look away from his commanding eye contact, I continued to look at the rest of the ad. In the Marines ad, the man's skin is hairless, but still manages to look rough. The pores of his skin are not perfectly hidden through makeup or computer effects. This texture of his face reflects age and experience. The man in this ad has voluptuous lips, but they seem tense. They are not the kind of big lips that a woman is drawn to. They are locked tight, showing that this man is not one to fool around with. He means business and does not take life lightly. The words on the advertisement continue to define the man's toughness. You will learn to walk with honor. You will gain the wisdom to command with decisive resolve. You will take your place among the most elite warriors on earth. If you have what it takes to make it, says the ad, only tough men can survive the Marines. And the man in the ad possesses the power and ability to persevere through the hardship. The Marines exemplify masculinity through bravery. To them, a masculine man is one that is resilient enough and fearless enough to defend their country, even though it might cause them to die. To be a masculine man, you must be willing to die for what you love and care about. The uniform continues the Marines' view of men. Men used to fear being seen in public while carrying a purse. Louis Vuitton has broken the stereotype that purses and bags are solely for women. Louis Vuitton is a fashion line devoted to bags and purses. 
In the past, those items were exclusively designed for women. No man would be caught carrying a purse, but over the years, Louis Vuitton has began to create accessories that men would be proud to carry. A man should not be ashamed of wanting a fashionable bag that can conveniently carry all of his necessary belongings. I encountered this last picture on the internet. The man in this ad looks casually cool. He looks like a rich man enjoying his time on the shore, sipping a drink, and keeping his belongings close in a beautiful Louis Vuitton man purse. The first thing that stands out when looking at this advertisement is the man's body position and outfit. He is reclining on a beautiful shore with one leg up, keeping a possessive hand over his back. The body position shows a carefree presence. Most men sit casually like this when hanging out with their friends. It is saying that men should simply enjoy life and not try too hard. When looking at the man's outfit choice, you might begin to believe that he has just left work. He is wearing a nice white button-down shirt, stylish yellow tie, and matching yellow pants. But one item that does not seem plausible for an office man are his yellow sandals. They make him look very casual and calm. The Louis Vuitton man has shaggy hair and scruffy beard that continue to contrast his choice of shirt and pants. Generally, when men dress up in that kind of clothing, they make sure to style their hair and have their beard look presentable. The man is not making any sort of eye contact with the audience. This continues to exemplify masculinity as a carefree attitude. He is also in a state of doing something, not simply posing for the camera. The man is resting back on a chair, enjoying life, sipping a drink. He is not attempting to seduce or intimidate any viewer. He simply wants to unwind from his day on a lovely beach. Louis Vuitton believes that to be masculine, you do not have to try. Men should just take pleasure in life and let things come as they may. Masculinity is about a stylish convenience. Men can easily have all of their necessary items located in a bag and should not be afraid to look good and carry a handish, stylish purse. What I discovered on my adventure to define masculinity is that the lines of masculinity have been blurred. Men can take care of their appearance without being gay. Men can be intimidating with small arm muscles and can be delicate even though they have a six-pack. Today, masculinity is defined more with man's attitude rather than the amount of body fat they have. Masculinity is still difficult to define, for everyone has a different opinion about what it means to be a man. For some, it's bravery. For others, it's sexuality. And some believe it's about a carefree attitude. The possibilities of masculinity are never-ending and ever-expanding.